<laughs> it's a little one, but what the heck, you got to start someplace. <laughs> For me, it's a it's a real achievement. I'm not... Whoa, look at him. Okay, got to keep the rod tip up over there. Spunky little cuss here, look at that. <laughs> well, that's a little one though, Governor. <laughs> to me, it looks like a large one. <laughs> that is a beauty. Pretty fish, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's a coho salmon. Go ahead and get it there, Steve. Wrap it out of there. Bill, I can't believe it. Now, how long were we trolling? Five minutes? Five minutes, maybe. That how is, about that? That is a beauty. You've, you've eaten salmon, though, from the I, Oh, yes, I've eaten salmon, but I've never caught one. And that, I understand, is about a four-pounder. Is that right? Four pounds, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. About four pounds. What do and you... good eating, isn't it? Sure is. Okay, you're the chairman of this Great Lakes Committee. What do you think about the contaminants that you hear about in fish? Does it bother you to eat a salmon like that? No, it doesn't bother me. I think, obviously, uh, this is one of the problems that we face and will continue to face in the Great Lakes. Uh, the problem of uh, toxic uh, chemicals. We're going to be living with that for years and years. And how, how serious is it, in your estimation? Well, I think unless we uh, continue to be concerned about it and take uh, precautionary steps to control it, it can, it can get out of hand. But uh, that's our major challenge, in my judgment, uh, in the coming decade. Uh, we have been able, uh, in the last decade, to uh, substantially improve the quality of the Great Lakes. Some people said that Lake Erie was dead, mm -hmm. and I think it nearly was. But now, of course, it has come back. Lake Michigan, all of the other Great Lakes are, have been restored, uh, essentially, to their, the quality which uh, we knew uh, in the past uh, 100 years. So actually, the concern that you have is not in cleaning up the lakes, it's in keeping them clean? It's in keeping them clean, and... Uh, well, that's a little better position to be it's in. It's a much better <laughs> position to be in than the position we were in mm -hmm. some few years ago. It's a resource we yeah. all take for granted, and we could use this to bring jobs here. Exactly. Well, we do use it to bring for jobs. Again, you know, we have a, a large in number of industries that are absolutely dependent on, on uh, Look the Look at the tourism industry great, right great now, industry. how much it depends upon clean water and the beauty of this resource. That's, 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 tourism is number two in the state. It is take to uh, land that 24 pounder here. This is a good size fish. It's about any other one, isn't it? Yep. You do have your license, don't you, Governor? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know I bought it yesterday. Okay. You think that net's going to be big enough? Oh, I hope so. This is a scrapper. You're picking up line on him, but... This is a good size. Compared to the other one, it is. Where is he? <laughs> He's coming. Oh, we haven't seen him yet. There's the Dodger. He's right behind that. There's the Dodger. Steve. There he comes. Okay, we'll get up here, OJ, and see the fish. <laughs> there we go. He's on a reload. Oh, that's it. That is a bigger one. Here he comes. Oh! Yeah, that's a little fatter than the last one. Well, look at that. that one. <laughs> You're working your way up. <laughs> we'll get you a master angler one here if it's the last thing we do. That is a good size. Well, you're two-fifths of the way to your limit. Another one? Okay, Governor, we got your third one coming up right here. Okay, a second one. We're going to try to get you a king salmon if we can, but this doesn't appear to be a king. There's another net over there, Bill. Another right, net? Right there, right that okay. other net over Bill? The side, Bill? I just recovered from the last one, and here yeah. we got another one. <laughs> well, we have about six lines out, so... Okay. This one... Is, that one go? This is a good size one. There he is. Yep, look at him flipping back there.
See what you've been missing all these years? All of these years I've been... Now lift your rod high. Oh, now he doesn't want to... Doesn't want to come in? No. There we go. That's number three. <laughs> Boy, these are as pretty a coho as you can find. Wow. <laughs> I can feel that. <laughs> want another one? <laughs> See if we can get him another one here. Okay, that's three coho towards the governor's first limit of salmon. Uh, this is something. What an experience for a guy who never catches fish. Here I have three of them. You know, for never catching fish, though, that kind of surprises me because as governor, you were such a strong proponent for the sportsman. I was, and I want to tell you that on a number of occasions, I went out to fish. Never had much luck. I went oh. up to uh, Craig Lake and the Upper Peninsula and uh, fished and fished and fished. Some of the uh, people I went with got fished, but I never did. Well, you, you stood up for the sportsman in so many ways without being an active hunter or fisherman. Why was that? I did because I feel that uh, this is one of the major assets of our state, the opportunity for people to go out and uh, recreate, to regenerate, to enjoy the uh, natural beauties that we have in mm -hmm. such abundance. We're a very fortunate state to have the, the beauty, to have the opportunity for hunting and fishing and to be able to do what I'm doing right now. We know there's, unfortunately, we're in the midst of a lot of turmoil economically in the state. Sportsmen are looking at maybe another license fee increase, kind of disenchanted about the economy, the inflation, the taxes, and it's, it's going to be tough to get any fee increase through to keep the DNR in a healthy position. What do you have to say about I that? I think that's true, but I also think that we're on the verge of a uh, major recovery, an economic recovery in the state. When that occurs, then the state will be in a much better position financially and hopefully uh, perhaps even to avoid the necessity for the increase in fees. I don't know, and I can't uh, make a judgment on that. But uh, we are seeing the employment begin to rise. We're seeing the major indications of, of an important recovery, and it's long overdue. Uh, when I was governor, the last two years were the most difficult that uh, I'd ever had as governor. And it took much longer for the economy to begin its turnaround. But we're on the way, and uh, that will be good for, for uh, the conservation uh, efforts. I think it'll be good for the sportsmen. And it may, it may uh, make it unnecessary to do what uh, you have just mentioned. Mm -hmm. Amo, could you turn?